guys, welcome to another video. My name is Antonio. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I have a nice review for you guys. Sweet, quick, and simple for the Nike React Gatos that I just got from Dick Sporting Goods, guys. Let's go. I'm pumped. I hope you guys are too. Let's get it. Alrighty, I got them on feet. Have them in this like awesome cream neutral colorway. They're definitely gonna get super, super dirty, but let's just take a look at them and wow. Beautiful, B-E-U-U-U-A-U-T-I-F-U-L-S. I'm a really big fan of these. Now, I did get them in size eight initially. Initially, I got them in size eight because I heard they ran really tight and narrow, but I have them now in my true size seven and a half. So I went true to size and they fit perfect. The size eights almost felt perfect. Like they felt really good width wise. But lengthwise, I had like a whole thumb of space in my toe box, which I absolutely hate. So I ended up getting the seven and a half, and that was the correct size for me. So true to size for me, guys, true to size. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by juggling for you guys, let you guys know how the upper feels. It's like this really nice, soft, almost like pillowy sensation but it's like almost like a cotton upper. I've never had indoors that are like this kind of upper. I would definitely be careful with playing with this upper if you're outside or if like you fall a lot on concrete or something because they might get really damaged. A lot of my uppers that I've usually gotten for indoors are leather based or feel like some type of leather, but this upper really does feel interesting. It's almost like a pillowy, cotton sensation amazing touch and nothing that i've ever felt from an indoor soccer shoe ever before but it's definitely something that I take in consideration when you're spending this much money on an indoor soccer shoe because these guys are expensive they're currently on sale so definitely take advantage on soccer.com or dig sporting goods again and i just hope that they hold up well if they do, fingers crossed, because these are one of the best indoor soccer shoes I've ever purchased. And I really mean that as somebody coming from a ton of indoor soccer shoes, specifically Nike Champos, which is something I usually get. As I tie them for you guys right now, I got to say they do feel pretty narrow. I think they'll stretch out a little bit, especially in the toe box area, but they are what I consider more like a vapor feeling. So I don't think they'll stretch out too much. So if you do have a really narrow foot, these are gonna be great options. And I think that if you have a normal foot, they'll also be great options. But if you have a wide foot, you may need to size up in these because the upper is really soft, but I don't see it stretching like too significantly. Uh, another thing is that the tongue is a one piece upper with the upper so the tongue is part of the upper so it doesn't give you that flexibility to adjust your indoors as much as other indoors that have a separate tongue because you can play around with the lacing uh, so that's one thing to consider when you are going to be buying these that the upper is part of the tongue and it's not that stretchy. So that's why I would say it's more like a normal to narrow fitting uh, shoe. So you may have to size up if you have a really wide foot. Juggling felt super comfortable. I really did enjoy getting a touch in these. It feels very plush, soft, and silky in the best way possible. Almost feels like as if I have pillows in my toe box area. Now the pillow sensation is similar somewhat to leather, but not really because this material that they're using is really soft and it isn't that rigid compared to like leather where it kind of has a little bit more rigidity to it. This I would say is more cotton sensation in a good way because it feels thin enough for me to have that like tactile feel with the ball, but not super thin where if I get stepped on, I'm gonna cry 
uh, but it definitely feels more like a vapor kind of cleat because of the narrow uh, midfoot area. Now that may stretch out, but I have worn them to the gym a couple times and I haven't seen the indoors stretch out too much to the point where I'd be like, okay, this is really, really broken in, but maybe I just need more touches in the ball and more time. Uh, but other than that, they feel super, super responsive and comfy. Let's go ahead and jump into some dribbling and I'll have some more feedback for you guys. Alrighty guys, I'm getting some major cramping on the outer midfoot area, so right around that Nike check and in the instep area as well, near my arc on both feet, more specifically on my left one because it is wider. That tends to happen with a lot of indoor soccer shoes or cleats, but I'm still really impressed. My feet definitely hurt, so I'm just gonna stop here because I have a game tomorrow that I need to you know, feel good for but I'm really impressed with the touch. Now the toe box area is a little bit wider than I thought it was gonna be. Oh wow, my feet hurt so bad, I just have to sit down. But the toe box area is wider than I anticipated. Uh, when I first got the shoes in, I thought the toe box area was gonna be really narrow, but it's definitely not. It's definitely wide and I like that because my toes feel like they're able to space out. But the midfoot area, since the tongue is part of the upper is very narrow, so it's kind of tricky. That's why I wouldn't recommend this for people who have wide feet, because you just don't get the adjustability. You just don't get the adjustability that you would with a tongue that's just free from the upper. Now, I really like the dribbling sensation. It's very vapor-like oriented, so I feel quick and agile and the bottoms feel super responsive. No sliding around, no nonsense like that. I seriously feel really, 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 really safe, which is awesome. Because as somebody has knee issues or anything like has gone through ACL surgeries, you wanna know that you're not gonna be slipping around and these soles definitely do a really, really good job. I'm super happy to report that. Now, lastly, the upper, feels really soft and plush when you're getting those touches with the ball, whether you're juggling or dribbling. I think these are awesome. I can definitely see why people love these. I don't think I'll ever go to any other indoor, cross my fingers, but I'm really happy with these. And so far for our first impressions, I would give them probably like a eight out of 10, nine out of 10. So I'm super excited about that. But I'll let you guys know if I should um, you know, do a whole review. I'll definitely be using these a lot. So stay tuned guys. I love you guys. All right, take it easy. Peace